Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk about my new hobby, if you can call it, uh, which is virtual pottery. So let's dive into it. So if you have been wondering what this is about on Substance Media sets, I'm here to help you. These are called atlases and you can find all kind of really cool stuff on Substance Media sets that you can use. But if you were wondering like, what can I do with this? I have a, actually a tip for you. And the tip is you can open Substance 3D Sampler and you can basically combine these atlases with a base material and create like really fun effects. So first I uh, started with uh, this material, which is called Layered Broken Wall, which already has like, really interesting like, textures and everything. I just changed the timing to a little bit uh, more. So I can see more of this material. And if you go to the filters here, you can find this thing called Atlas Scatter. And here you can see drag and drop a material here. So let's try. For example, broken pieces of ceramic floor. This is going to work very well. You just drop it onto the material and you already see that. This is what you get. And what you can do is uh, with this filter is that you can decide about the amount. If you want to have like uniform scale, of course, you have to stick to the same number. So like 1919, 19. now you can, you can see. And there are a bunch of things you can change. For example, the hue, saturation, you can go really crazy with this. Where is the orange over here? I went with this uh, orangey look and the luminosity, yeah. So now they look like a broken terracotta pieces, basically. I want to change the, the base and feel a little bit, so it's a little bit too rough and I would like to have some, some reflections like a ceramic, like a real ceramic. With the shift and the right mouse button, you can turn around the environment light and you can just see how your material looks in different light settings. And here you can see this looks really, really cool. So you can play, play around with this effect and you can actually layer them, you can add one more, for example. There are all kinds of things that you can play with, like plastic pieces and everything. I want it to be a little bit bigger, less amount. So basically you can do anything that you would like to. So I'm going to stick to this because I like this material. You know that you can send the material to Stager already. If you were watching my uh, previous videos. And here we go. We need more a higher resolution, of course, to see the details. And I will change the projection mode to type on a local. And here you can see the seam blending. So basically you can change how much uh, the seams are blending. As this, uh, this is projecting from different sides. I already turned uh, turn on displacement. And this time I went for the Pair triangle fixed because I thought that this object has enough geometry already. So I just went for some little subdivision, as we call it. So if you would like to have a little bit more details, you can just set this high scale a little bit higher, and then you can already see on the sides that uh, this is really interesting. I like this part, for example. So, let's set the camera. 
Let's make it like a macro shot. Depth of field with the focus point. And let's see the... Okay. We need more resolution. So now you can see all the details of the resolution. So, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and you can try to scatter all over the place all the atlases that you can find on Substance Studio sets. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.